Today's Tuesday, November 22nd of 2011, and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to reset Launchpad or uh, customize Launchpad. Uh, if you don't know what Launchpad is, you're probably on Mac OS X Snow Leopard. It's a built-in feature in Mac OS X and Lion uh, that involves a quick swipe on the uh, trackpad uh, to bring up a list of all your applications. Easy use uh, replaces the applications folder on the dock, uh, but if you actually use it. Obviously, you can open up any of your apps from here, whether they're on the dock or not. Um, but, uh, really replaces your applications folder. So I'm going to be showing you how to reset this. Let's say you have a whole drag a whole lot of uh, apps into folders that you don't really mean to do. Uh, and let's say they're all in different folders. And you just want to restart from scratch. Uh, the easiest way to do that is, um, to get this preference pane. Now, if you don't know what a preference pane is, pane is it's basically a little thing that you install to your system preferences to allow you to tweak your system in a such manner. Now, you're going to go to this link. This link will be in the video description. It, the site is in German, uh, but the Launchpad Control Preference Pane is in English, which is which is good. Um, so, what we're going to do, you're just going to download it right here. It shouldn't take that long to download. Uh, but, you know, I'm not at my house, so the internet's a bit slower here than usual. So, on normal internet, it should take ne next to nothing to download. Um, so, here it is. It should be in your downloads folder. Um, you can drag it wherever you want. Now, if you want to install it, just open up System Preferences. And double-click. It'll say the Launchpad Control Preference Pane must be installed before you can use it. Do you want to install it and just click Install for this user only or all users? It doesn't. Uh, doesn't really uh, make any difference. Click Install. Boom. There we go. Now here's a little tour. Obviously, you have a Donate button. Uh, then up here it says Launchpad Control Version 1.3. This app allows you to easily hide apps or groups from Launchpad. To hide an app, just unclick and check Apply. Now here are all your applications you have, uh, as well as your folders in um, your Launchpad. So let's say I didn't want uh, people to ac be able to access Final Cut Pro um, from Launchpad. Uncheck it, click apply, it'll restart everything, and then when we go to uh, Launchpad, uh, Final Cut Pro is now uh, not there, not in anything. You just can't access it for Launchpad. That's pretty nice. Um, I want to be able to access Final Cut Pro. Boom, see it's right there. Um, but let's say you you really just want to start over. You want to have organize all your apps to the default look have a lot of apps and folders that you don't want what you, what you, all you have to do is click full reset and it'll say a full reset will remove the database file used by launchpad launchpad will then create a new database any custom groups or manually added apps will be gone boom and just wait for it to load your applications uh... completely from scratch and it'll be set back to the default look Ta -da. so i've used this feature a lot I've Organized them in the folders, and I've said, you know what, I want to, I want to change. So what I've done, I've basically done this. It's a lot easier than manually removing the database file, and then just click OK. Um, now you can click refresh. Oops. Click refresh. That'll just refresh all the apps we had not unchecked. And this is a pretty nice application. Uh. Uh, preference pane actually. So again, this link will be in the video description. That's an easy uh, tip to reset Launchpad. Um, and I will talk to you guys next video. Thanks for watching. I will catch you later.